Hello, photographers. My name is Spiros Hemiatis, and this is where I answer your photography questions, and we learn about photography together. And it is Thursday. I almost said Wednesday. And this is our second question of the week, which comes from Mustafa Ibrahim, who says, Can I use external manual flash, like the Yagnuol 563, with a high shutter speed? He says his internal flash sync speed is only 1 1 80th of a second. The short answer to that is no, you cannot, because it is a manual-only flash. Now, now, uh, certain flashes can allow you to shoot at a higher shutter speed. That's using a function called the high speed sync option. So let me break down what's happening here and why it works and doesn't work and what you can do to deal with this. So first of all, he says that the internal flash sync speed is 1 1 80th of a second. That actually has nothing to do with your internal flash and everything to do with your camera's shutter. Because when you take a photograph, the shutter in your camera opens up and there's actually two curtains and the other one comes behind it and then closes over the sensor to block the light from coming into the camera while you're taking a photo. The sync speed is the fastest speed that your camera can open the shutter entirely and then have the second shutter come and close behind it. When you go beyond that shutter speed, what ends up happening is the shutter opens, but before it's opened all of the way, the second shutter starts to come behind it and close. And the reason it does that is to keep the other parts of the sensor at the bottom where the image has already been exposed for being exposed for too long. So if you're shooting at 1 500th of a second, for example, when the shutter starts to come up, the shutter might only be halfway up the sensor before the first part of the sensor has already been exposed for 1 500th of a second. If the second shutter doesn't start to close, as the first shutter finishes opening, the first part of the shutter will get exposed longer than the second part of the shutter, and the exposure across your picture would be uneven. So the solution is that the second shutter starts to close, and what happens is they travel over the sensor, leaving a gap to expose the sensor for the 1 500th of a second. So the reason you can't shoot over your sync speed, that 1 1 80th of a second, is because when when you shoot the flash, the flash fires once, and if the entire sensor isn't exposed, then the entire sensor won't get light from the flash. If you try to use a flash at a faster shutter speed, what you'll see is a black bar across your image, like this right here. What you're actually doing there is you're taking a picture of the shutter, because the bottom shutter that's coming up behind the front shutter is blocking the flash from hitting the sensor. So manual flashes like the Yongnuo 563 three do not work at higher shutter speeds because they do not have the high speed sync function. TTL flashes do have high speed sync options. So this Aperlite YH700C has the uh, high speed sync option. And what high speed sync does is flashes the flash very, very quickly, multiple times, as the shutters are traveling over the image. So each piece of the sensor gets light at that shutter speed in that little gap. So you need a flash that has high speed sync in order to shoot over your sync speed on your camera. And the sync speed is a limitation of the camera itself and not the flash. All right, guys, this is a great opportunity for you because I'm working on my flash photography video series. So if you have questions about flash, leave them down into the comments and I will make sure to cover them in a Q&A or in the upcoming flash video series. And do me a favor, would you like this video and subscribe to my channel? If you really like this video, maybe share it with your friends. But the most important thing you should do is get out there, take some damn photos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you try to use a flash, add a flash. Bleh.